I welcome you to a prophetic hour with prophetess Mrs. Roslyn Waifu. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. I'm here to encourage everyone listening to the sound of the word of God through me right now. I'm here to encourage you what the word of God is speaking in the now. Let us pray. Our precious daddy Lord, we just thank you for such a time as this. I pray that you verify your word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I want to first of all encourage as many that are there. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Don't let the, the plague or the, the virus or the vaccine be a distraction to you. Praise God. There is God in heaven. There is God in heaven that's, that sees to the affairs of men, that's still in the affairs of men. Praise God. Because of his love that he has for us, he can never leave us nor forsake us. Don't let it be a distraction to you. All you need to know, all you need to get is get enough word of God into your spirit. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you and your household will be saved. Praise God. I want you to know that if anything that is being introduced because of something has prompted, does not mean it's going to destroy us. Praise God. I, I want you to get the word of God, you know, Sia chapter 4 verse 6. I want to read the verse. A or B, praise God. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Say, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Praise God. Vaccine cannot destroy the children of God. It's knowledge that will destroy. Is knowledge, lack of knowledge that destroys. When you lack the knowledge of the word of God, that is where destruction comes from. Are you surprised to hear that? Yes. So when you all you need now is the knowledge from the word of God that will keep you strong, that will empower you to have to be able to resist the plans and the purpose of the kingdom of darkness. Praise God. I'm not saying the vaccine is from the kingdom of darkness. No, I'm not saying that. I am not telling you that there's something wrong with the vaccine. No. I am not telling you that the, the, the plague came because, the, because of the vaccine. No. All I'm telling you is that get knowledge. Get knowledge. Don't reject knowledge. Say, because thou hast rejected knowledge. Once you reject knowledge, the knowledge of the word of God, the knowledge of the power of the word of God, the power of deliverance, the power that will, that will set you free. When you know that Jesus he, he has the power to set you free, you know he, he, the word of God said you will drink of deadly things, it shall not harm you. You eat of deadly things, it will not harm you because of what? There is power inside of you. There is power inside of you. So when you reject the power of God, that is where destruction comes from. Let me tell you, this is the time for you to stay connected to the word of God. This is the time. Preachers out there, the Lord wants me to tell you, stop preaching about virus or the, 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 the virus that is going on or talking about the vaccine and all. You are distracting the, the people. You are causing distraction. You are causing fear in the life of the people. We are not, the, this is not a time to create fear. There's nothing. There's nothing because the Lord Jesus Christ has raised himself to us. He has the power. He came down from heaven. He did not send an angel. He came down himself and he paid the price in full. That shouldn't be. This is the time you preach the real word of God. Give the people enough word of God to get knowledge. To so get good knowledge from the word of God. Don't be fooled. The, 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 the vaccine is not the problem. The, it's the people that is the problem. The people. It's people that is going to be the problem of the vaccine. Praise God. Because the uh, vaccine has ever been. Vaccine has ever been there. So why now vaccine becoming an issue? 
No, it shouldn't be an issue. The issue is that when you are not born again, you are the issue. When you don't know God, you become an issue. When you don't know God, you don't you, you are not under protection. You are not under protection. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it to it, they are said. So when you are under, under the tower of God, you can know that whatever cannot work for your, for your destruction. It will only work for your good. Because you are immune with the blood of Jesus. You will be vaccinated with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So if, you, if any vaccine, you are being, if you, for paraventure, you, you are ministered, you minister vaccine to you, you feel that that vaccine, there's something wrong, is going to be, so, there's something going to be wrong with it. Right? So you should know that the blood of Jesus will not let it work in your body. That is it. The blood of Jesus that is inside of you will not allow anything bad to affect your own life. Because, let me tell you, you are carrying the power of the Most High God. You are carrying the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't see it as if oh, the world is coming to an end or uh, uh, it's going to be a mark of the beast or whatever. That, that is not what the Bible teaches us. The, what we, we, the, the knowledge you should get right now is the knowledge of the Word of God. He said, when all these things are happening, that means the time is approaching. When things unbelievable, wickedness, things you never expected are happening, what did you do? You prepare yourself. How do you prepare yourself? With the word of God. You have to get, you have to take enough word of God into your spirit. You have to focus your, your, on your spiritual life. You have to, if you are not born again, you have to be born again. If you are not living right, you start living right. Yes, you don't compromise your faith for anything. You don't buy into deception. You don't buy into cajoling. Don't let anybody sell you. Don't sell your soul because of money. And you just have to be wise as serpent. And become as those. Be wise. Christian wise up. Be wise. And pray. This is a time for you to pray. This is a time for every one of us to rise up and begin to pray. You have to pray. Fast and pray. Seek the face of God. I pray that God will give you understanding of his word. Say my people are perish, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Do you know the time we are now? Look at the wickedness around the world. Let's talk about preachers. Preach about how people will repent. How people can turn away from their wicked way. There are a lot of wickedness that can open door to the, to the demonic attack. Yes. Wickedness is too much in this world. I want you to focus on preaching the salvation message. Let's go back, back to our first love. Back to the, the word of God, the real true word of God that will deliver the people. The people of God that have been held captive by deceptions. It's not about miracle. It's not about signs and wonders. It's about the soul of the people being transformed. For people to get saved and make heaven fit for heaven. That was so ever, whatever happened, if you die, you know that death is not in the end. There's a place of eternity. Eternity is what matters. Death is nothing to a child of God. So why would we be afraid of a vaccine that is coming? A vaccine that is going, that, that is going, they are going to give. It's not for the children of God. Listen, it's not for the children of God. It's not for the, to destroy the children of God. So as many that will come, as, as many that will come to know Christ, it will begin to work together for good for those that love God. Praise God. I pray that God will give us understanding. I'm not telling you. I'm not saying that, oh, the, the, they are bringing this vaccine to destroy us. They are bringing this vaccine. But one thing I'm telling you, it's not for the children of God.
No, it's not for the children of God. Because the blood of Jesus is able to secure these children. It's able. If you are born again, nothing work for your but for your detriment, nothing will work to destroy you. If you are a born again child of God, nothing can destroy you in the name of Jesus. Your going and your coming is safe. You are safe because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, they are safe. So don't be, don't, don't be, don't, don't be afraid. Don't live a life of fear. Have faith in God as you do so. That the Lord will continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. If you are not born again, you are not here, receive Christ as a Lord that pays sin and Savior. This is an hour. The hour has come. The hour that you don't need to miss. This is the hour. I want you to confess this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Today, I accept you as my Lord. A personal savior be my master in jesus mighty name amen amen if you believe that he died for you he rose again from the dead that is your belief let that be your belief that he died for you and he rose again from the dead and he's coming back again congratulations god bless you it's your sister prophetess mrs rosalie wife god bless you amen